This is my review of the Horal Rolling Knife Sharpener. Full disclosure, Horal is sponsoring this video and did send me this for review, but I'm 100% giving my honest opinion. Now having worked in restaurants from being a line cook to a head chef, I own and have used a lot of knives. I do 99% of my knife maintenance myself and like to think I know a thing or two about kitchen knives. I've always used whetstones to sharpen my knives and they are great, but the learning curve is steep. You need to maintain a consistent angle and pressure to get the most out of them, as well as invest in other materials to care for your stones. Which is probably not feasible for most people, especially if you're not a professional cook or knife enthusiast. First, let's talk about the pros of Horl. The build quality is fantastic. I mean, it's made in Germany, and I don't think I need to say anything more about German engineering. The magnetic angle support has rubberized contact points so it doesn't scratch your knives, and the magnet is also powerful enough that your knife stays secure. In my testing, the angle support block was steady throughout sharpening and never budged. The rolling sharpener has a premium feel and aesthetic and function. The roll is buttery smooth and made it pretty effortless to fully sharpen a knife. But the thing I like most about Horl is that it is extremely beginner friendly. Anyone can use it. It takes out the work of choosing and maintaining your angle, which is the most important part of getting a sharp edge. And unlike most whetstones, you don't need to soak the horal before using. It's also clean. The thing I hate most about whetstones is that they create a mess. I have this towel I use exclusively for whetstone sharpening because the sediment gets everywhere. Now let's talk about the cons. When compared to whetstones, you won't be able to sharpen your knives at custom angles. You'll have a choice between 15 or 20 degrees based on the magnetic angle support, which to be fair covers 99% of what a home cook needs. The type of discs available with Horl also aren't as customizable as whetstones. Currently, Horl offers a coarse diamond grinding disc, the regular diamond disc, a ceramic honing disc, a 3000 grit and a 6000 grit whetstone disc, which again will cover 99% of use cases, but if you want to go advanced and mirror polish or create custom bevels, you'll need to go for whetstones. I also wouldn't recommend using the Horl for single bevel knives, but then again I'm assuming if you have these knives, you're already somewhat of a knife expert and this video isn't for you. Now let's test the horal out. I have this cheap vintage sabatier that I'm going to dull on this flattening stone. I'm sharpening it at 15 degrees using the standard diamond disc that comes with the horal. It took me about 5 minutes on this side before a substantial burr formed. Then I did a few passes with the ceramic honing disc and switched sides. A common criticism I see for the horal is that it doesn't sharpen tips well, but I found that it could be alleviated by moving the magnet towards the tip and simply sharpening the tip. After sharpening and honing both sides, I strop the leather to remove any remaining sediment and refine the edge. As you can see, it's significantly sharper than before, although there is still a bit of toothiness to the edge. Let's try refining the edge with the 3000 and 6000 grit whetstone discs included in the premium sharpness set. I spent about a minute on each side with each whetstone disc, then followed up with the ceramic honing disc and the leather strop. The edge was definitely more polished than refined afterwards. Oh, that's nice. Using whetstones to sharpen a dull knife to the same sharpness as this usually takes me about 10 minutes with another 5 to 10 minutes of soaking the stones. The entire process with the horal took me about 15 minutes, so it's quite comparable. There are also a few streaks of metal shavings left on my table, but they were easily wiped off with a wet towel. Overall, I would definitely recommend the horal as an easy, effective way to sharpen and maintain your knives, particularly for home cooks since it pretty much covers every use case. Even for an enthusiast like myself, I would still use the horal to maintain knives sharpened at 15 or 20 degrees because of the consistent edge it delivers. I've linked the horal in the description if you want to check it out. I do not receive commission from any sales.